we were all travelling again, including our friend Peter. But what happens if you've neglected to renew your passport and it has expired? Well, we went along with Peter to find out. Thank you. So, Peter, why are you here today? Uh, to make some uh, passport photographs. Ah, and make what? myself look beautiful for the next ten years. <laughs> but you're you're fast tracking. I'm fast tracking. Is my hair is my hair good? Yes, absolutely perfect. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> I can't smile, so you can't make me laugh. So here we go. Got one button, and that's it. Done. Yeah, that's good. That, if you're happy with that, yep. Oh, fantastic. You see? And what's the next stage? Do you then have to take these to the passport office? Is that right? They need to. Fa <laughs> he needs to Photoshop them first to make myself look oh. better than it is. <laughs> but apart from that, yes, we we uh, I'm applying for a fast track passport because. Stupidly, I've left it to the last minute, so my passport's not due for renewal. Well, it's due for renewal uh, by the end of April. So, um, because I'm going on a cruise uh, mm. after I come back from Lanzarote, so I've literally got six weeks, I can't risk it. So, I'm gonna, I've had to pay the outrageous £147 <laughs> or whatever it is to wow. renew my passport. Well, but what it is to be an international traveller. Indeed. Well, happy travels, Peter. Enjoy it all. Thank you. I hope it looks good. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it's been a year since we've been on Ready Steady Cook? We can't believe it either. But if you haven't seen the show yet, all is not lost because it is still on the BBC iPlayer. <laughs> Paul, can you believe it has been a year since we did Ready, Steady, Cook? Oh, wow. You're right. It has been a year. And that means that the time limit on appearing on the iPlayer, the BBC iPlayer, is almost up. <gasps> no. Yes, it is available until my birthday, the 18th of March. So if you haven't seen it, or even if you do want to relive those moments of me not being able to use a knife and fork... I'd get onto the BBC iPlayer right now and um, watch it. Now, there's been another development with Ready, Steady, Cook, hasn't there, Paul? Yes. Right now, Series 1 of Ready, Steady, Cook is on Netflix. That's right. Now, we were on Series 2, and we are hoping that it will eventually appear on Netflix as well. Now, of course, there was a bit of sad news announced a few months ago that um, the BBC has axed Ready Steady Cook so I'm afraid it's not going to be coming back. Um, so we were just delighted to be a part of it. That was a good time. I think that it allowed us to learn new things. And we got these lovely, what do you call Aprons? Aprons, that's right. <laughs> was, I call them cloaks for some reason but anyway we got You're... these you are thinking about Harry Potter. Ah, yes. And we also got some shopping bags. We haven't used those yet. So maybe it's about time that we went down to M&S and because that's where we were spotted. <gasps> yes, we were we were spotted by some fans in there saying, weren't you on Ready Steady Cook today? Yes, that was us. <laughs> so there you go. On to the BBC iPlayer you go after watching today's show, of course. And we were episode 15 on series two. One of those annoying things is that you haven't used an aerosol can for some time and when you press the button nothing comes out. Well that happened when Paul wanted to shave recently and his foam just wouldn't appear. Here's a top tip and trick on how to make it work. Got one of those awkward aerosol cans that just won't squirt? Well here is the solution. A pin. I've got a safety pin here, which I just outstretched. And what we do is we stick it in the nozzle and give it a good old swirl around. 
And as you can see, the foam is starting to appear, which hopefully means the next time we press the button, we can get a really good squirt. Let's try it out. Yes. Is it out? <laughs> Feeling that just by another can. Well, I'm sure we've all been to a Chinese restaurant over the years. I know that I've certainly been to many where I especially enjoy dim sum. But did you know that there is an etiquette when you're in one? Here's Paul with more. Here are my tips and tricks for going to a Chinese restaurant. I I basically wipe everything. Cups. Plates. Cutlery. Silverware. This is actual silver. So I think that it's always better to be safe than sorry. So that um, you get the full experience. And this is what I've always done whenever I come to dim sum. So yeah, happy eating, everyone. Another tip and trick, and maybe this is just a common courtesy, but it's always good to fill up someone's teacup once it's empty before you fill your own. Just like this. Because it is always good to have manners. Thanks for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yes, do. Please subscribe. I mean, really, please subscribe. Well, we've been doing the show, would you believe, for almost a year now. And we've invested in various pieces of equipment over the time. The latest one was to get holders for our iPhones to try to establish more smoother shots. So how easy is it to put one of these together? Paul thought it was, but let's take a look and find out how he got on. Well, that's it for today's show. We're back on Tuesday with a special travel edition from Manchester. So please join us then. <laughs>